Welcome to the Crow's Nest, where we highlight the best Millersville Athletics has to offer, including interviews with the top performers from each week's games and more insider access. Here's your host, Andrew Pauling. Good afternoon and welcome to the Crow's Nest, your home for Millersville Athletics News. Alongside Ruby Mundock, I'm Andrew Pauling, and here's what the Marauders have been up to. The men's basketball team advanced to the PSAC tournament semifinal round with their win over Westchester last night. Despite trailing 14-1 early on, Millersville was able to ride a strong second half to pick up the win by a final of 70-54, beating the Golden Rams for the third time this season. After the game, I caught up with head coach Casey Stitzel and our Jalen Hodge heard from standout guard Jaden Faulkner. Coach, on Saturday, the team won their first PSAC East title since 2007. This is a veteran group that it was your first recruiting class. What did that mean for you guys to finally have all that culminate in a regular season title on Saturday? Yeah, it was huge, you know, obviously. But like I said, at the end of the day, we have another goal, and that's to win the PZAC. So we were obviously really happy with it, but obviously we want to continue to – obviously tonight was a big game to get that one. And obviously going forward here this weekend, we'll be challenged, obviously, with a great West um, coming up. So, yeah, we're super happy about it. We just got to keep getting better, and we're not finished yet. I'll talk about tonight's game here. You're advancing on to the semifinal round. It was a rough start in the first five minutes, then the offense exploded. Everything started to click. How were you able to get the team in a groove after that tough start where really they dominated the rest of right. the game after that? Yeah, I mean, I think one of our biggest mottos is not get too high, not get too low. So, you know, even when they were up 14-1, we didn't get too low. And then obviously when we get up big, we don't get up too high. So we try to stay here even keeled. This group's got great leadership and great culture. So when you have that, you have a chance to move on and obviously fight through adversity. Every team is defined when they hit adversity so you know when we hit it we've really responded this year and that's one of the reasons why we're, we are where we are well congrats on the win tonight coach good luck out west sounds great thank you guys appreciate it okay so Jaden, you guys really came out strong in that second half what happened in halftime that allowed you guys to come out with the type of energy that you did uh we just said uh we got to settle down i told my teammates we settle down we'll be fine it's our basketball game we settled down and the scores held it all absolutely and now this saturday PSAC semifinal game, what do you guys are planning to do to be able to come out with a victory then? Def defense and rebounding. That's all we got to do. Defense and rebounding, share the ball, we'll be fine. That's great to hear, all right? And good luck for the rest of this playoff run. All right, thank you. Justin Nuosu recorded his seventh double-double of the season as he scored 16 points and brought down 10 rebounds. Our play of the game comes from Makai Hendricks, who exploded for 15 points off the bench highlighted by this dagger to put the game out of reach. The last 35 were all Millersville. Here's Mackay from the top for three. Yes, sir! Mackay Hendricks has 15. The team heads to IUP this Saturday for their semifinal matchup against Mercyhurst with the championship game coming on Sunday. The women's lacrosse team opened their 2022 season last night with a 22-5 win against Holy Family. Amanda Giuliana and Chris Decada each had five goals in the blowout win. Our Daniela McCurdy caught up with head coach Cindy Wilson earlier this week to discuss the start to the season. Coach Wilson, you have two home games this week. What can we look forward to in those matchups? Uh, well, we're, we're really excited to be getting started. We've been working hard the last six weeks in preseason, um, so we're really excited to just get out there um, and put together our game plan. Um, we have two good opponents this week, so um, at both home games, so it's nice to always play at home and start off that way. And what has been the main focal point here in practice with the season opener so close? Uh, we are really just trying to put the pieces together. We've talked a lot about uh, the little habits that build a good foundation for our team, so now it's time to put that all together and go out there and play as a unit. Well, thank you and good luck this season. The Marauders are back in action this Saturday for another matchup at Beamsterfer Stadium as they take on Dominican College at 1 p.m. Elias Driver was named Field Athlete of the Meet at the PSAC Championship Meet for the second consecutive season after finishing second in the weight throw and winning the shot put. Here's what the All-American had to say about adding to her legacy. Aaliyah, for the second straight year, you're the top field athlete here in the conference. What's that mean to you? Um, it means greatness because Millersville track and field has always produced great athletes and it's just 
it's a legacy because Sunflower had it two years back to back and now I have it. So it's just, it's just amazing to me. Well, for the team now, you guys came in fourth place. That's the highest finish in program history here. So you're doing well. The team's doing well. What's it mean that you guys are firing on all cylinders here heading into the outdoor portion of the season? Oh, I'm, it's just we're ready. Outdoor is just that's just where we shine. And um, we're just we're just going to go at it because Peace Sacks is at home. And we're hoping to bring back a champ championship title. Well, congrats again on the strong finish at the Indoor Championship, and good luck throughout the outdoor season. Thank you. Darian Hoff won the pole vault, and sophomore Hannah Wolfling won the weight throw to earn all PSAC honors. Wolfling will represent the Marauders at the NCAA Championship meet this upcoming March 11th and 12th, as she was selected for both the weight throw and shot put events. The softball team opened their season last weekend in the Carolinas, going 1-3 over a pair of doubleheaders. Gabby Diotavio led Bill with a 571 average through three games, while Elise Angelo led the team in hits with five. The team heads to Florida for spring break as the Marauders will play a dozen games from March 5th through the 11th. Live streams can be accessed on Flow Softball. The baseball team brings their 5-4 record to the friendly confines of Cooper Park for their home opener this Saturday against Goldie Beacom, with a first pitch set for noon. Thomas Caulfield had the highlight of the road trip as he hit for the cycle against Alderson Brodus. Tyler Wright leads the team with a 417 average as the Marauders are hitting over 300 as a team through their first nine games, averaging nearly eight runs per game. Millersville was picked as the preseason favorite in the PSAC East. Carlos Martinez Lucas was named PSAC Tennis, Tennis Athlete of the Week after winning both of his matches against Franklin and Marshall during the Marauders season opener last Saturday. The team will take its 2-0 record to Orlando, Florida for five matches from March 6th through the 11th as the road trip will be highlighted with a matchup against reigning national champion Barry University. We will be off next week for spring break, but the Marauders will have plenty of action coming your way with nearly 40 events on the schedule for this upcoming week. Head to MillersvilleAthletics.com or the Millersville Game Day app for live stream links, box scores, and recaps for all your Marauder teams. That's all from us this week on the Crow's Nest. Alongside Ruby Mundock, I'm Andrew Pauling, and we'll see you on March 17th.